Welcome back to LAX 18 News at 1230. Where you can learn about patient safety at this year's Health Watch USA Conference. Board Chairman of Health Watch USA, Kevin Cavanaugh, joins us now with details on an important conference that is coming up one week from tomorrow. Well, thank you very much. And uh, this conference is for the general public uh, and also for professionals. Uh, we are going to discuss two different topics. In the morning, it's going to be on full disclosure. And, and that means, should a patient be told that an error has occurred? Like a mistake. A mistake. At the yes. doctor's office, hospital, or, or hospital wherever. Or hospital or wherever. And that's actually controversial. Most people should think, well, sure, if mm. something happens by mistake, I should be told. So we're going to go into uh, uh, that controversy. And in the afternoon, we're going to talk about deadly infectious diseases. <laughs> uh, not, not Ebola. That, yeah. that came about, uh, unfortunately, after the conference uh, uh, was uh, uh, designed. But we may mention it a little bit. And the Kentucky new regulation on uh, reporting of these diseases to allow better health department uh, engagement and, and handling of them. I would imagine that full disclosure conversation uh, would probably tie in with tort reform to a, a bit, would it not? Because the reason, I guess, doctors aren't that in, invited to tell you everything is because they're afraid of the repercussions when it comes to a lawsuit. Well, and uh, there will be some mentioning of this. We have as our final speaker uh, uh, James Anderson, who's from the uh, uh, CEO, uh, past CEO of uh, Cincinnati uh, 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 Children's, and he's also on the board of directors of IHI, and he's going to respond to this. And actually, uh, institutions that have adopted full disclosure have uh, in studies decrease in malpractice uh, uh, costs and payouts. It's less likely that a patient is going to sue. Right. Most patients have figured out that something's gone on and the stonewalling yeah. actually a lot of times just fuels the incident. Right. Now, this conference, how much is this to... to it, is, it is $50. Uh, that includes, if you're a professional, uh, a whole variety of continuing education credits. Also includes a snack and a lunch. Uh, and it's all day on Friday. They can go to healthconference.org. Uh, it's healthconference.org uh, to register. And uh, b believe me, the public is very welcome. It, it will be something I think the public would enjoy and understand. It's going to be a lot of good information there. The Patient Safety Conference held again a week from Friday, November 7th. It's going to be at the Four Points Sheridan. Registration starts at 7.15. The conference starts at 8.30. That's in the morning. Then it ends at 5. And for more information, call 606-875-3642. Or check out their website, healthconference.org. Doctor, thanks for coming in. Good to see you as always. We appreciate it. Thank you it. very much. All right, yes. Let's get the latest on the forecast now. For